a new study published in Science showed that taurine supplementation increased the health span and lifespan of monkeys and mice. In another study showed that taurine supplementation was associated to an increase in athletic endurance in humans. Something that is well known is that taurine blood level concentration decreases with aging. There are many age-related diseases that are associated with low levels of taurine. Some people believe that taurine supplementation might be a key to increase the lifespan and quality of life of humans. Let's see what the science says about what are the benefits of taurines and the question is, should you be supplementing with taurine? Let's find out today. So let's first talk what taurine is about. Taurine is a non-proteinogenic amino acid that can be produced by the body itself. It can also be obtained from animal sources such as meat or fish, but now there are many vegan supplements available which are really good as well. Taurine is considered a conditionally essential amino acid. It means that in normal state the body can produce enough of it, but in certain conditions the body will not produce enough and it could be associated to the course of a disease. So for certain diseases, it's recommended to supplement with taurine. Taurine, as a molecule, is particularly abundant in certain tissues, for example, in the heart, in the retina, in the skeletal muscle, or in the brain, which are all excitable tissue. So one can understand that the function of taurine and the benefits of taurine could benefit these organs in particular. The first thing they did was to measure taurine levels across time in different organisms. In mice, in monkeys and in humans, the trend was always very clear. As they age, taurine levels decrease. The next thing they did was to see, okay, if taurine levels decrease over time, what about this supplement early on on, this on on mice to see if they can live longer? And in fact, which is a amazing experiment, mice were fed with taurine with approximately a thousand milligram per kilogram of body and they followed them across time across over um, compared to the control and it was clear that for both female and male taurine fed mice live longer approximately 10 to 12 percent more which is crazy imagine that could happen for humans they could be maybe seven to ten years more in the average human so let's keep going then they tested different creatures, in this case worms or C. elegans and yeast. For worms, they found a similar trend that when they feed them with taurine early on in their life, they live longer. But with yeast, they didn't find this effect, so maybe this is something more particular with higher organisms. When I first read this manuscript a couple of months ago, I immediately went and bought taurine supplementation. But the first thing I did before I bought it, actually, I checked in the literature to see if taurine was actually safe to consume and how much. So according to the literature, and you can see in this publication here, it says that you can cons humans can consume up to three grams per day without any observable risk. And they also claim that humans could even tolerate more, but the data is not enough clear to, to recommend that humans take more per day. So I bought this brand, I will not recommend it, I will not recommend any brand specifically, but I brought this one and it's about 1000 milligrams per capsule and I take one capsule every day and so far don't feel so much of a difference but maybe because I'm still very young, maybe over time I will see the effect for my, for aging related problems. Now, this is still very early to claim the taurine could slow aging, but so far the data that we have and that we're gonna see right now seems to point in the direction that taurine could be one of these molecules that could increase health span and lifespan of humans without much of an observable toxicity. Before we continue with the video and you are wondering why I'm in my shower with my clothes on, please stay tuned and subscribe to this channel so you can see on my next video why I'm doing that. And please, if you can give me a like and comment below, what are the supplements are you taking and why? So now let's get back to the video. 
In the next figure, in the same paper, they were studying how taurine supplementation increased the health span of mice. So of course, this is a bit tricky to measure and this is a little bit could lead to interpretation, but for mice they have different type of assays that they claim to measure specific things that for humans are relevant. For example, here they have with the different effects. In this one they measure for mice that were, were feed with either 500 or 1000 milligrams of taurine and they have different varieties. I will not go so deep, but they claim that, for example, the skeletal strength, they, they see some improvement in neuromuscular coordination, in grip strength, and anxiety. And this is, of course, how do you measure anxiety in mice? And here, of course, it's decreasing the anxiety levels, which is what is important. And this is something that has been debated now. I think they're trying to do some trials as well to see how Tori supplementation can help in anxiety. When I was looking into buy, buy my taurine supplement and you read the comments of people, uh, some people claim, and this was in different areas, and I, I, this is not scientific, but this is just what people write, that they start taking uh, taurine and they increase to up to three milligrams or so you people say they, they take more and their anxiety levels decrease. I would not recommend it for that because it's not scientifically tested, but it's interesting that people are claiming that. And I hope that our studies coming where they can see if Tory supplementation decreases anxiety in people. And if you're already taking Tory and you have seen this effect or if you start taking, I would like to know what is your opinion. If we have seen so far Tory supplementation up to 3 milligrams, it's not detrimental, so anything could help a little bit. And they also claim that they may be with taurine, they see a little bit of memory improvement and yeah, and the other measurements are also very more, more deep and I would not want to go just in general to give the feeling that yeah, in mice they, with these assays they measure, they see an improvement in the health span of mice. One of the coolest things they did in this study is that they went into the data of the EPIC Norfolk study, which is a population cohort study and they, which studied almost 12,000 subjects and they did a association analysis to check if taurine and its metabolites levels were associated with specific clinical risk factors. And what they found is that high levels of taurine and its associated metabolites were associated with, for example, lower levels of obesity, lower levels of abdominal uh, adipose tissue or B lower BMI, a lower prevalence of diabetes, and even lower chances of um, lower inflammation based on the C-reactive uh, protein measurements. Next, they wanted to check if there was an association between exercise and taurine levels. So what they did, they have different male athletes, which for example, bodybuilders and sprinters, and also sedentary people that doesn't do any exercise, and they put them to a cycle test, and they measure before and after the taurine blood levels, and what they found is that the taurine levels increase in their blood after this cycle exercise. So this is very interesting because we first saw that taurine is associated with better health and we know that exercise is associated with better health. So maybe one of the mechanisms that exercise is good for health is by increasing the levels of taurine in the blood. So we could combine exercise and taurine supplementation and we get the best of both worlds. Lastly, this is another study, a meta-analysis, where they analyzed different studies where they used taurine supplementation and then they checked if there was an improvement in athletic in endurance. And what they find out is that they conclude that taurine supplementation could give a little improvement in athletic endurance, but for some of these studies, it was a bit hard to discern if the effect was rather because of the taurine or in, in a combination with caffeine, which we know helps improving the athletic um, performance. So, so far it's not so conclusive that they can claim that, but maybe the statistically show that maybe there is a little bit um, improvement with taurine supplementation. So far we cannot claim that taurine is this magic pill that would slow down aging and that will increase the athletic performance or will decrease anxiety. But many of these studies are really pointing in the direction that taurine supplementation is very beneficial. And we hope these studies come up, or they already started, where they are testing 
towards implementation in the long term. For us, since the data and the information seems to be that there is no many risk, I don't see why not to take Torin daily and see if there is an effect on us, or maybe in a few years or maybe more, we will see that it was the right choice, or maybe not as well. We can also go, go wrong. Um, yeah, please let me know if you like this video. Remember to subscribe, to like it, and just comment below if you take Torin or you plan to take Torin, and maybe if you feel something, a benefit, or maybe something negative that you would like to share. I think this is very important that people share what they feel hopefully unbiased and not trying to blame anything because we can learn a lot and many times these really guide the research what people feel. It's maybe not scientifically because it's not blinded and it's not controlled, but people's experiences, as long as they are honest, they do matter. So let me know and thank you very much for listening and for your interest in, for, for your interest in science. Ciao, ciao. Side